Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I started a discussion on the forum, Corvette Forum, about how my latest helmet seemed to be cocking my head forward more than previous, so I thought I'd do this uh, quick video here to show you the helmets that I've been using and maybe try and figure something out. I don't know what brand that one is. That was my, that's a Snell 2000, and um, I, I decorated it for a Halloween autocross. I think it came out pretty good. <laughs> anyway, that was like my first autocross helmet. Um, that's a Pyrotech. That's my track helmet, full face. And that is a 2010, Snell 2010. And that's a Snell 2015. That's an, uh, another autocross helmet, open face, Zamp. And I had to actually remove the cheek pieces to get it on because they're just ridiculously tight. Um, so that's on me, whatever. Uh, now I'm gonna, I've got some calipers there, and I'm gonna measure the main dimension. I, 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 you can, you can see this one's kind of like a bigger bubble, like a bubble head to me compared to the other ones. It just seems like a bigger, rounder bubble. Uh, but anyway, the dimension that is co concerning me is from the back of the head to the back of the helmet, because that's what makes your head tilt forward, if that's a bigger dimension. So let's take the calipers and we'll measure each one of these, and uh, we'll see. So the no-name brand is about one and three-quarter inches. That's in inches. And I am compressing the pad inside. If there's any pad where I'm making the measurement, I'm compressing it. So let's try the Pyrotech. So the Pyrotech is 1.88 inches. And the Zamp is 1.88 inches. Uh, so I'm going to try them on sitting in the Corvette. Now let me show you. You guys might have different seats. I don't know. These are the seats that I'm trying to use. And to me, they've got a pretty big... I've got a t-shirt under on there for sweat. I'll show you the other side there. To me, they've got a big headrest. It's not adjustable at all. Zero adjustment. And it seems like it's a big overstuffed headrest compared to my C5. Let's go take a look at the C5. Here's the C5, and uh, these are the stock seats. I I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but to me that headrest does not protrude as much as the C6 headrest protrudes. I don't know. Maybe it's me, but actually I don't think it's me. I think I'm right. So you look at the back of the seat where your back and your shoulders are laying and look at the headrest. Now, look at the back of the seat where your back and your shoulders are going to be and look at the headrest. It seems pretty obvious to me. Um, these are all large helmets. You guys who say you don't have any problem and everything fits fine, maybe you're running a medium or a small helmet or maybe different seats or maybe something else. I don't know, but uh, there you have it. It tilts my chin down. So I have to recline the seat, and I have to kind of use the tilt mechanism also to tilt the whole entire seat backwards, and then, you know, I'm kind of cocking my head forward to look out the windshield. So the point of this whole thing, the discussion or the video is, you know, God bless Snell. I'm sure they're doing the best job they can do. They're doing a terrific job. I assume they try the helmets in different seats, but I think there's some kind of a disconnect between their helmet standards and specifications and some of the seats that you and I actually sit in to drive cars with helmets on. So post your comments down below. Am I crazy or uh, have I got a valid point? 
Give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. See you later, guys and gals. Froggy out. Bye-bye.